Hey guys, this is Kate Kennedy here with the layout using the July hip kits. And it's probably going to be my last layout with these kits because I think the new ones are coming soon. But anyhow, I've pulled out all of the supplies from the main kit and the embellishment add-on, as well as a couple of things from last month's kit, some of the poolside stuff that coordinates really well with these papers. Um, the 6x12 sticker sheet because I just wanted to finish it. And then I think I use a couple of frames from the pack of chipboard frames. And this layout, I started with a completely different background that is not on camera here because it didn't turn out very well. And then I kind of scrapped that whole idea and then used some of the papers I had already cut for that layout and then just started like adding to it, like just taking papers and layering them behind each other until I got something that I liked and I really liked the way that it turned out I didn't think that I would I thought it was going to be like one of my not so favorite layouts but I ended up really liking it the only problem was that the paper warped really bad because I put you'll see when I add the distress ink I put like too much water and it made the paper warp bad and I was in a hurry so I used my heat tool which is never a good idea so here I'm just layering a bunch of things together of all the different papers. These are all um, papers from this month's kit. And the picture is of some pickled shrimp that I made last weekend. Yeah, last weekend. I put it up on my blog, so if you're interested in the recipe, it's on my blog, as well as the spicy saltine crackers that I serve it with. And pickled, I'm just gonna talk about the picture for a minute, because and pickled shrimp, because they, it's something, it, it's a southern thing, I think. Maybe they have other places, but um, it's, in the south it's considered a southern thing so whatever that means and you basically boil shrimp and then you pickle pickle them not really pickle them but you marinate them in like vinegar and a little bit of olive oil and lemon juice and hot peppers or chili peppers it, you can make it as hot or as not hot as you want and then some other like pickling spices and they're super super good but it seems like the slightest like variation in the recipe makes them taste completely different and I finally found like the perfect recipe so it's my first like food post on my blog which I'm pretty excited about and I took some pictures for my blog and this is one of them and I wanted to document the fact that I made like a foodie post on my blog so I thought that was fun so that's what this picture is of and so there's not like a whole lot of story behind this and there's it actually worked out perfectly because there are a lot of the embellishments this month that I was struggling to use because they're completely food related. Like the Ellie Studio stuff, all of the ones that have like words on them are food related as well as a lot of the um, wood veneer. And I was just having a hard time because we just got a new puppy so like all my pictures are of our puppy and I just don't take that many pictures of food. And I wasn't even thinking about it when I took these and put it on my blog that I could use these supplies with it but then as soon as I pulled the kit out again to make a layout I was like oh I gotta go print that picture because it's perfect so that's what I did and I'm just seeing if some of the frames from the what's that simple stories summer line are gonna work I don't know if I've used any of those that every once in a while there's an embellishment it's usually not a paper it's usually an embellishment that I really struggle to use and this month it was that simple stories stuff and I love the collection like the washi tape and those frames I just had a hard time I don't know now the poolside collection as you can see I could use over and over again so here is where I'm going to do the packaging technique and I use too much water I'm using the color evergreen bow the stress ink by the way and I have that fork knife and spoon that are from the Ellie studio wood veneer and those are some of those things that I looked at and I was like I don't know how I'm ever going to use this but what I decided to do, and you'll see later, is use them kind of like as a place setting around the photograph. So I have the fork on the left side and then the knife and the spoon on the right side. And I think it turned out really cool. And it's not, I mean, I guess it is obvious that that's how, what it is, but maybe not. I don't know. So I decided that I wanted to back my layout with this October afternoon yellow kind of sun paper. But I knew that since my paper had warped, I needed to put something else behind it, and I didn't want to use that whole sheet. 
So what I did was just back it all on a piece of this bright green cardstock because I don't really use that much colored cardstock. I use a lot of white and craft and vellum, but and every once in a while I'll use a color, but I have two of those sheets, so I thought that it would be okay to use one for this. So you can see there how warped my paper is. I don't know what happened. I think it, like I said, I think I got too much water on it, and thank goodness I got a refill of my Tombow Extreme Adhesive. And I was just having an off day because, as you can see there, when I laid that down, it is totally not even. So I'm going to trim it down some to make sure that it doesn't look weird being completely it's it doesn't look like it's offset it just look like i put it on wrong i'm going to add my photo cluster here with all the you can see what a mess that is from behind i'm sorry if you hear our dog walking i'm trying to do this video this voiceover and it's just nobody's cooperating <laughs> so now i'm going to use my heat gun or my glue gun to put down the glue veneer i'm going to use the october afternoon little daily flat flash alphabet to write pickled shrimp and that summer sticker from the top is actually from the 6x12 sticker sheet that came in the June Project Life Kit, I believe. I'm pretty sure. And then I'm just going to add a bunch of embellishments. I'm going to use a few pieces from the 12x12 poolside chipboard. And I'm also going to use a lot of the wood veneer that are like kind of foodie related. And then these little hearts are from the the mason jar embellishments that we got that you it has like these little things that you can fill the mason jars with. I tried to use in the first layout that I tried to do, I tried to use one of those little mason jars because this is a picture of a mason jar. And I just couldn't get it to work properly. It just, I don't know, it was one of those days. So I was just going through the wood veneer to see which ones I wanted to use. And I ended up using a bunch on here. So I was really happy about that. And I'm going to add, I think, a couple more pieces of chipboard. Maybe another like a yeah, little teal cross. And then I'm going to add a bunch of enamel dots from the uh, October afternoon enamel dots that we get. I'm also going to add this other word that says hot because those are spicy. Like I like them spicy, so I make them spicy. And with the crackers, they're super spicy. So I don't have final photographs to add to this video right now because it's dark and I can't take pictures. So I apologize for that. I'm going to try to show it up close. and But I will try to get, them, get some tomorrow and I'll post them in the HipKit member group on Facebook and probably also on my blog. So I'm really sorry about that, but I think you can get a good look at the layout here in the final stages of the video. So thanks guys so much for watching and check out the August kits. I think there, maybe there's like one more day to order. I'm not sure. If not, keep an eye out for September's kits. I'm sure they're going to be amazing. And if you haven't subscribed already, then, and you want to use the code Kate and you'll get a free pattern paper add-on. So here's the completed layout. Again, thanks guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. One more thing. I'm going to add some journaling at the bottom in pencil. And I'm also going to color in those stars where it says I rate this with a little pencil. So sometimes I like adding pencil on layouts. I couldn't find my gray pen and there's no black. So I decided to just go with an old school pencil. What are you going to do? Thanks again so much for watching guys. And I'll see you all real soon. I'm sorry about the background noise. Bye.